Welcome back for another video. It's Ehabad, and we are back in the raid Shadow of the Legends, and you know, the portal's glowing. It went a couple of days without having a summoning event at some point last week, but no fear, there are plenty of summoning events and a lot of actual activity in the game uh, as well. Obviously, we've got this Festival Titan event, and it is pretty appealing. Five star Amant Soul. Really strong overall champion, as we know, very good in PvP and PvE alike. So I actually feel like this soul is high value. And uh, at least, even if you fall short, you can pick up the four star along the way. Legendary Tomes, Superior Oil, Superior Extract, these are really high value. Immortal Soul Stone is actually pretty good as well. Mythical Charms, also nice to get. And then on the last one, Primal Shard. I think the Chaos Powder is nice, but it's a little bit overpriced in, in the game. Six star mythical, mythical Tome, 250 tier 3 coins. This is a pretty good looking Titan event. As always, it just depends uh, what events they throw at us. We know there's going to be summoning along the way. And lo and behold, the first of the summoning is with us with the Path of the Clover. Three and a half days left. Quite a few Titan points available, so you've got 40 there, basically 200 points available here. And I think realistically, as we know now, you basically, you got to, if you want to get that five star soul, you've got to be doing very much all of it. And this is definitely therefore mandatory if you want to get that five star soul. We also have the old uh, guaranteed here in Padraig. Uh, who I think is actually a good champion. Can, can we click through here? Yeah, we can. Uh, I quite like this A1 of decreasing cooldown, cooldown of random ally skill by two turns on a 50% chance, because essentially if you get locked out in arena and you're running a champion with this, it, it gives you a chance. You know, it's not it's not perfect, but it, it gives you a chance. Um, got the ally attack on a four turn cooldown when booked with fully restoring all enemies max HP. This is huge for hard fire knight. And maybe you don't need him in the regular dungeon, but in Centranos, anytime this spirit Sylvan Watcher support is available, this is massive for clearing that. And we know Soulcross stage 17, that fire knight gives a thousand tier three coins. So this is a really high value uh stage to clear and therefore this is a high value champion to get uh, to be able to do it basically and then the a3 books down to a three turn i would like if this book down to a three turn as well i'm never a big fan of of where you have a three and a four turn because typically the ai will prioritize the four turn then do the three turn then you lay one twice four turn and then that. So effectively, these end up both being four turn cooldowns. So you don't really benefit from one of them being a three turn, uh, which is kind of frustrating. If I were to run him in finite, I'd probably throw him in reflex, uh, to be honest. Uh, it's probably the path I would take. Relentless is also possible. Um, fills the turn meters by 20% and removes all debuffs and increased speed. So it's a really nice ability. Again, really good for fire knight you take that first hit you cleanse off the decreased defense cleanse off the decreased speed fill your own turn meter add increased speed and then use your a2 not necessarily for a farming comp but for a a manual like i said soul cross manual this is really really strong so that's that and then we also have the five star perfect soul I feel it's a little bit overpriced. You know, it's only fractionally less than the full legendary. And when we jump into the mathematical analysis of what we're going to do, uh, it will become clear. What else dropped today is none other than Sand Devil Turn Attack. And I usually really like to do these Sand Devil Turn Attacks. We get this uh, uh, tier two soul stone at the top. And usually we pick up some decent rewards along the way. Six star glyph is always nice. The problem is um, it's coming right at the end of this fusion and we still need to probably most people still need to do this uh, dungeon divers. 
and it doesn't count for dungeon divers points so you know i still need to do what 2000 energy roughly in a day and a half more than in fact sorry 2000 dungeon divers points which is roughly about two and a half thousand energy a bit more maybe so you know i'm not gonna have any spare energy to go and do and do sand devil turn attack so i'm gonna have to skip it even though i'd like i said i generally like doing these and i think it's really good rewards uh in terms of progression on the account um it's it's well worth spending the energy and more than dungeon divers is for me but unless they make it count towards dungeon divers points it's it's really restrictive i may end up near the end just doing a few runs if i can bag any of these uh rewards for a very small energy outlay so i'll keep an eye on it but uh i'll probably be skipping it Otherwise, I'm just going to stay in Spider, use all my energy and get that Dungeon Divers done. It will also help me replenish my silver, which I actually need to, not on that one, sorry, I actually need to do the last little bit of Artifact Enhancement. And normally I do max them out at 6,500. I might actually just skip, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll probably get the 300 tier 2 soul coins, but I might skip the Epic Tome, to be honest. I, I don't massively need it. and. I've been finding uh, silver has been a bit of a problem recently. I, I had a really healthy silver stockpile and I've gone down quite a lot. It's still quite comfortable at 84 million, but you know I was at like 180 uh, before Sintranos came out. So <laughs> the burn rate has been uh, pretty aggressive. Right, let me jump over to the... Actually, no, before I do... Generally speaking, I wouldn't go for Void Shards, but as I've been saying, I am near Mercy, and actually Gazur looks pretty, pretty attractive. But let's jump over to the Calc. This is the path uh, converted into numerical form. We can talk about when we jump back in game what each path relates to, but ultimately, here's the champion, here's the soul, uh, the fragments for the current fusion are here and here this is where the mythical uh, tomes and the feast is and then i've kind of broken it down so if you do everything it's 276,000 points if you just want the champion then it's uh, 94,750 if you just rush to the champion 106,000 will give you all of the Titan points. So I would say absolute minimum, really, you want to be going, uh, if you're going to be you know, summoning for the champion, you want to do the extra and get those Titan points. I think it'll be important in the end. So that's 106,000. If you want the soul as well, that's another 74,000. And then to be honest, the rest, I wouldn't bother unless you are a massive Kraken. I wouldn't bother with the rest. But if you wanted the Avatar, that's 206,000 in total. And then if you wanted everything, it's at 276. So I've modeled up going for the um going for the orange path here. So let me just fill that in so it makes it a little bit more clear. Or going for the green path here. And if I go for the orange path, I'm roughly looking at 20 mortal soul stones one immortal and four eternal with an estimate of 25 voids to hit my mercy it might be more it might be less so we can adjust this uh, as required and 12 sacreds and that will give me the target i want obviously we could finesse these numbers a bit and maybe do less eternals and then increase the number of sacreds uh, accordingly and if we then reduce those we could then maybe say depends you know uh, it really does depend uh, maybe we would actually go three there two there ten there something like that maybe not five <laughs> uh, i think it ends up being roughly three yeah like something like that and then three there there's lots of ways you can kind of play around and decide exactly what you're after i think it really depends on how many voids we end up having to pull to, to hit mercy and then what we're really looking at is if we uh went for the full hog and went uh to do the soul as well we're looking at a big increase in outlay uh so let me just sort of normalize this back in a way that looks reasonable and maybe I'll just increase the number of sacreds actually and reduce that to 
three. Let's say something like that. And then I think that one I'm sure I can reduce down to eight. So what we're basically saying is it's 13 more sacreds and two more eternals, uh, roughly, is what we're saying. Or if we went for pure sacred terms, which is what I had it as originally. Um, let's go like that. And then maybe we will do zero or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'd have to change these numbers around a bit. But we're we're basically looking at like sixteen, roughly sixteen extra sacreds, uh, is is kind of what the soul costs. So it's it's quite expensive overall. Like I said, there's lots of different ways we can play around with this. What I'm going to do is we're going to pull the first hundred and six thousand. Uh, we're going to see how many voids it takes. That's the very first thing. We'll get the champion. We'll see what luck we've had along the way, and then. I'll have a little think. I might even record this video over two moments in time and actually have a little pause between the two and uh, you know have some dinner or something and and kind of think about it a little bit longer. Uh, let's jump back into the game. In terms of the sacreds, I'm going to go for Feral. I think he's a really really strong champion, uh, and I would like to pick him up if possible. So we're going to go for Grazur, and then we're going to go for Feral. I'd say, realistically, I'm going to do this as a 10 pull. That's just because I don't want to click lots and lots of times. And we're straight in, and it is the Grazur. We did get it. I should have just pulled one, shouldn't I? <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. Let's just uh, let's just do the 10 pull. And uh, we made the mistake <laughs> because in pure void chance, Oh, funnily enough, we actually go to 20x on Grezor, even though we pulled him. And that's why I'd been saving my mercy. People were telling me that I should have been pulling, blah, 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 whatever. That's why I saved my mercy. We've really got a game-changing legendary right there. The progressive 15x on Void is quite impactful, and we now have a real S-tier game-changing legendary uh I definitely want to refactor my um one of my um hydra teams to include this beast and uh yeah I kind of can't wait you know aoe enemy max hp with buff increase and healing of the champion provoke with increased resistance increased defense that's that's pretty solid as well and then then you got this shield on on all allies which is pretty nice Plus then the passive as well, which is kind of crazy. Uh, no cooldown, like crazy, crazy passive. And you can see on the ratings, like, he's he's just a beast. And I think anywhere that I can use him again in Sintranos, he's going to be massive. So how does that actually <laughs> change our numbers? So we'll have to drop that down to 10 because that's all we ended up doing. So we're going to have to increase the sacred account. Uh, on both sides. Let's have a look at that. And then that would be what, 10 there, uh, let's say 30 there. So that would end up with zero shortfall. So we're basically looking at what, four eternals, 10 mortals, and 15 sacreds is what else we need to do. Uh, just for a very quick one, actually, if we look at the summoning efficiency, you can see on a hero's path, void shards are very poor return compared to what you'd get in a, a summon rush. Uh, sacreds, this is with a normalization basically on points, so sacreds are still worth just as valuable in a summon rush or a hero path. Ancient is basically only better in a 2x, so it's actually not too bad in a hero path, but there have been occasions where they've given us a Summon Rush, the, the Ancients are worth 50 points, at which point they're, they're actually more valuable uh, than, than otherwise. So Void Shard's actually the worst shard to pull here. I've not done an equivalent uh, analysis on Primals when I did all this, this uh, calculation ages ago. Primals didn't exist, and I, I haven't bothered updating it. So <laughs> I haven't really compared you know, Champion Chase, Summon Rush, Hero Path for, for Primals as of yet, but maybe I'll add that. In at some point, but I'm I'm holding my primals, hoping for uh, something more impactful. So, yeah, that's that's kind of where we are. The next step in our summoning bonanza 
is we have two Eternals ready, and I'm going to buy another two here. These are big boy uh, pulls. We currently have these three champions. I'm kind of tempted to add Grizzur, but I, I, I really want Narcees. I really want Harima PvP, and I kind of I want the Owl. The Owl is going to be fun. I've added Steel Skull uh, on the list here, and in fact, I'm going to add Liberja as a alternative because for the current um, Centranos rotation or uh, what do you call it, um, the Finite, I don't even know what Liberja faction is, there is Orc, in fact, I need to get a Awakening on one of these champions that gives increased defense so I can get faultless defense and make my life a bit easier. So the wish list is ready. Let's see if we pull something. Mythical, so I don't have the champion, obviously. And that's my second Siegfried perfect soul. I have a six star, and now I also have a five star. That is ridiculous. <laughs> we got Epic. It's Nazana, five star, still not the wish list. My wish list was trash last time, and it appears to be being trash. Again, I would prefer to save the mortal and immortal for when we have a, a boosted rate again. I don't think they're going to give us boosted rates on the Eternals necessarily, although, you know, they might at some point, but they're pretty valuable for these kind of things. It's worth nearly two, uh, what do you call it? Huge, six star, and again, mythical. And again, obviously a champion I don't have. Why can't you just give me a champion I have? A six star legendary on the wish list, go. No, didn't. <laughs> is six star though doom priest at least i actually have doom priest and i do have nazana so you know that that's not the end of the world it's not one of the ones i needed <laughs> but it's not too bad i'm pretty happy to get a six star there but you know look at all these mythicals it's like it's ridiculous six star six star five star like where are these big souls on the legendaries that i have <laughs> it just doesn't happen that way does it and then we had what 10 mortal soul stones we need to pull please just give me a steel skull just a one star steel skull is it that much to ask anything from the wish list just anything <laughs> i've had no luck on the wish list oh we got the null horn <laughs> oh teasing me teasing me and then the very last are we saving the best for last we're not sure it would be really great to get feral we need 15 sacred so let's go one down it is epic and it is a clod beast feeder one thinks he's a breast feeder but anyway uh number two is a husk there are still a couple of mikage uh epics that i need um we've not got any of them yet <laughs> there's three in fact fourth sacred another epic in old grucus not too bad i think we will hit gold probably during the 15 calia that's another dupe just want a non-dupe and a feral is it too much to ask uh, another epic a mausoleum mage another dupe just give me my Mikagi and give me my Feral. Another epic and another dupe. We got a lot of four star chickens getting ready for the next uh, next champion training. And another epic and another dupe in Leech. Uh, I don't even know how many we've pulled now. I've stopped paying attention. And another dupe. That's nine shards, I think. Another dupe in Ambassador Lethalin. Tenth shard. Come on. What are we doing? Another epic. And it's another dupe. I think that's my third or fourth rock baker. Really good champion. Very good in one of the Centranos uh, rotations for, for Soul Cross. And another epic. And another dupe. Yes. Yes, a lot of dupes. We need to get down to 60 overall because I started with 75. Another epic. And you guessed it. Another dupe. <laughs> Come on, one legendary. We got to hit gold at 15, surely. Uh, actually, 
Tagua is new. We finally hit a new champion and actually highly rated. Pretty good, I think, overall. Increase the fence on a lowest HP. So you could actually build a champion that's defense based with low HP and high defense, and that will proc nicely. Increase speed all champions with a nice little heal and then a revive. So, you know, there's certain instances where this champion's going to be usable. Could be some kind of faction specific secret room. And we did get legendary. And it's a dope Rathmatab. I think that's my third Rathmatab. It's not Feral. Last Sacred. Back to back gold? No. And it's another dupe. The dupe Wooji. Pretty, pretty sad. As I did say, Tagua is new. And. That's it. So we did strike gold, but we didn't get feral. And we do have our 106k that we planned. And I was going to go, it's a toss up really uh, as to whether you want the barrel or the chicken, but I'm going to save myself 4,000 points by skipping these fragments here. I don't need the fragments and it's quite expensive. It's quite far down. Um, and I'd rather not spend an extra sacred. I can always, if I want to do, pick it up here. Barrel or five star chicken. I don't hate the barrel uh, too much. There are some champions I need to take to six star that I don't want to get masteries on now. So I've started using the odd barrel uh, during like a champion training where I take one of these champions up for Sintranos, who I'm not going to get masteries on. So it's not the worst. Otherwise, I would say 100 gems is worth more than 250 energy. Obviously, 80 gems would equate to two refills, which is 260. Then, you know, you have another 20, which is half a refill. So you could uh, equate that to like 65. So, you know, you're like 300 and uh, whatever it is, 15. 325, I think. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> 325, yeah. Uh, energy, so it's obviously worth a bit more. Likewise, 30 gems is worth more than 75 energy, but you know, we, we have to pick one side or the other. So I'm going to go down this side. Uh, although I think actually we'll end up, because we're getting these, we're going to end up going both sides anyway. So it's all moot. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> right, we got the 80 points there, then the XP barrel, then the event key. Then we're going to go straight down the middle. Pick up. Our champion and here we unlock, we get a legendary tome, we get our champion. Are we going to have a champion chase? No, we're not going to get CBC this week. No. Is there any reason to hold off summoning this? We have three days, 12 hours. I can't think of one, but equally, I can't think of a reason of clicking it now before we know. I don't think there's any benefit to me to click it now either. I'm probably going to hold off, in fact, uh, until, until closer to the end of this path event. And uh, we can then make a decision. I'm going to use this energy towards dungeon divers right now. There we go. We've got 60,000 left. I can summon this any point within the next, say, three and a half days. I don't think there's any reason to hold off doing it. But like I said, I might as well just keep the option free. Do I want to do another 16 sacreds to get the soul? I don't think I do. Oh, I do want feral. I'm going to go have my dinner, like I suggested. And if the video ends here, I decided against it. <laughs> if it carries on and I keep summoning, then I guess I decided for it. Time will tell. <laughs>